Hi everyone, it's Mike from RV Maniacs. So, uh, we took a trip up north with a camper and uh, everything went well except we had an uninvited guest. Yes, a mouse got in. So, there were only a couple places where you could get in um, and uh, around some of the pipes, but those were pretty well insulated and maybe in the mouse hole. If, uh, a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about with the mouse hole. That's where the electrical cord goes into the trailer. Uh, some of these trailers they use a big long cord that you can pull out and plug in. Well, it makes them a nice big hole for mice to get in. So, uh, this video is about uh, what I did to solve that problem. So, hope you all like it. Thanks. So we're going to be doing something about the mouse hole today. What's the problem? We had a mouse when we went up north. The other problem, all the damn replacements are square. What these, uh, what these outlets have is a, a 30 amp uh, receptacle with a, with a screw on. I've already got one of those cables. I had one for my other RV. So, uh, we gotta solve this round hole square thing problem. So, picked up a couple of things at Home Depot and uh, I'm gonna uh, work on a plan. So, first we'll uh, pull most of that cable out of there and get it cut off and then uh, get to sorting things out. Alright, so I use my uh, utility knife and cut that uh, sheeting back a little bit and Abby, what are you doing? You're getting all tangled up. It's hot in the sun. So, uh, I get those wires cut now and, uh, I'm gonna deal with that stupid round thing. Why can't you all make a, a round replacement plug so we don't have to go through all this? Uh, oh, they sell a kit for like, I don't know, $60 or something ridiculous, but. You can buy that outlet for like 14 bucks and, and uh, then have all the kind of fun I'm going to have. All right, so look at that mess of cable. It's uh, not taking up space. I wonder what kind of space it's going to free up somewhere in the trailer. Well, we'll figure out where that is later. The end of the sink or something. So here's what I bought to try to solve the problem. That's a five inches round, that, that whole plate there. So you got... Uh, Got a doorknob and uh, wall shield. Not real thick, so I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, you know, have kind of a long-term mount for for uh, this thing on there. I think if I keep plugging and unplugging, it'll it'll trash that little plate. But I think I'm going to put that on there, and uh, and I got a couple other uh, electrical covers. I found these. These are four inches, so so not quite as big but they'll give me this one's metal this will give me something substantial to uh, to screw into um, and I was just a little bit worried because it's a little bit smaller than the than the cutout and I wanted to have something good to fasten this to and uh, I think I can make that work pretty good and I'll probably not use this white one I bought that one just in case so this is like uh, you know three bucks at Home Depot and this was probably I don't know three or four bucks this is a uh, metal blank uh, wet location cover for an electrical box so it's got a nice piece of metal so I think what I'll have to do is uh, is cut that out with a motor tool or something big enough to accept this piece in the back and uh, that'll probably look like a mess cutting that round hole with a, with a motor tool but we'll give it a go um, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll cut a hole in that job too to, to also accept that. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so I decided to just take this cover right off. I got the screws out and they were kind of stripped and kind of rusted and crappy. So, uh, I clean up that old caulking around that uh, hole. I think I'll leave the tape. Uh, the tape there 
All right, so uh, here we are partway through the process. We've got the uh, startings of a, a slot there. Using the motor tool with a little uh, cutting wheel on it. It's getting worn down pretty good right now. I need to change it out, put another one on there. And reposition this. All right. If you don't have a motor tool, you should get one. These things are awesome. You got all kinds of different attachments that you can put on the end, like little grinding things and cutting things, and just a great tool to have around. I'm always cutting something down or grinding it out. All right, so we've got the uh, center out there. Got to clean up around the edges there, smooth it out, and uh, I use a different attachment for that. All right, so I got my uh, circle cut out of that. So I got I made it a little bigger than what I needed, um, unfortunately. Could have gone a little bit smaller, but oh well. Use the motor tool, cut it out. I put a little grinder on it, like a like a file thing. There, there it is, right there. Cool little bit. It's like having a power file and uh and now i gotta uh cut this same hole in this uh plastic piece the only reason i'm putting the plastic in there is i want a little bit more weather barrier kind of around the ed around the hole and uh, i'm not sure how it's going to work we'll see uh, but uh and already this is going to be a little bit hokey as this thing is a little bit bigger We'll see in a little bit. Let me get that white thing cut out. Yeah, so when I'm done, I'll end up looking sort of like that. So I think that'll be okay. We'll, uh, get some of that gunk off from around the hole and, and uh, see how we do. So part two of our uh, mouse... Uh, whole rodent getting rid of project is uh, going to be spraying the underside of uh, the trailer with rodent defense. And there's a bunch of this stuff on the market and um, really it's just, they're all pretty much the same. They're all kind of made up of uh, peppermint oil and rosemary oil and garlic oil and this one has uh, white pepper in it. So uh, I'm going to give it a try since we're going to be leaving the trailer way up north for a few weeks. The mouse up there are pretty vicious. So uh, I'm going to get to spraying, waiting for some paint to dry on, uh, on that little metal ring I made. And uh, we'll get that assembled after this. All right, so I've uh, put the unit on. I put the metal plate behind. It's going to leave a little bit of a gap, but I'll have to fill with some uh, caulking. Here you can see that gap. Um, we'll see how bad it is when I get all the screws in around. I'm just going to put that top one in to begin with, and uh, then I'll get the uh, uh, and I'll get the uh, thing wired in. I already loosened up my screws around the bottom here. We'll put the uh, match the colors up. I got green, black, and white there, and uh, we'll get that on. Okay, all the wires are in, screwed tight. We'll get it back in the hole, and uh, I'll uh, drill some holes for those four, and we'll get her all screwed together. So here they are, all buttoned up. No more mouse hole. A lot of caulking around the edge there. I'm going to let that uh, solidify and put some tools away and call it a day.